So I just wanted to show that there's actually been some improvements going on with the game stick custom firmware scene. Um, we've been working with some different firmwares from some different Android sticks. And I'll go through some of this so you can see what we got going on. Okay. So as you'll notice here on the frequency, we've actually got 1.2 gigahertz running. And that actually has to be forced through uh, No Frills CPU app. Um, and it has to be set to the minimum and maximum at 1.2 gigahertz, otherwise it won't stick for whatever reason. But that's something that's being worked on. Uh, currently, there's no Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but Shanti's working on that, and he's actually got Wi-Fi going currently. So you can expect a new custom firmware, a 1.5, to be coming out fairly soon. So anyway, I'm going to run an Antutu benchmark on this, see what kind of results we get. And I'll be right back with those. All right, and here's the score after we ran the benchmark here with the uh, new firmware that's being worked on. And we get 12,670. Now we can't actually verify it because I can't get online with it to verify it. And just for comparison, I'm gonna run the same thing on the current 984 firmware, uh, megahertz firmware and to show what the 200 megahertz increase will get you as far as performance wise on the Antutu benchmark and we'll go over to that all right and as a comparison here is the current kernel that most of you are probably already using running at 984 megahertz and we will go to settings on that we go and that's the score it had achieved so as you can see we got about a 20 percent increase which is what it should be on the uh the new kernel that we're working on and uh hopefully we can get it stable and get wi-fi and bluetooth working on it but i mean if anybody's uh willing to help and try out some new things on it by all means um comments uh you can leave them in the video here or go to gamestickers.net and you can find us talking back and forth about what's going on with it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you stay tuned and hopefully we'll have a custom firmware 1.5 pretty soon.